Let's talk about the, the issue at hand. The reason why I wanted to bring my next my next guest on. He is he is an expert in leadership, and I think it's a good transition to talk t- from uh, about our fighting men and women in uniform who are who exemplify this idea of leadership. It's a voluntary force, after all. And I wanted to bring him on to talk about what we're seeing, the phenomenon that why we while we still have the freedom to make the choices, uh, where Obama has not succeeded in completely putting a leftist blanket over the entire United States to where there's no place to run. Uh, we still have people, people's ability to vote with their feet. And what we're seeing now is Toyota leaving the, the unfriendly confines of California and coming on out to Texas, bringing its entrepreneurship and its jobs with them. Uh, some would say this is a, a, leadership, a leadership discussion because I'm sure that Toyota tried to make it work, but at the end of the day, they had to be leaders and make sure that their their companies continue to, to thrive. Dusty Staub heads up Staub Leadership International. It's a management consulting firm that focuses on human systems excellence. Dusty's background includes 40 years of helping leaders, teams, and organizations serving as clinical as well as executive director of the Crisis Center Centers, a marital and family therapist, fellow in the School of Engineering at Virginia Tech, and an organizational consultant. Dusty, welcome back to the Chris Salcedo Show. Thank you, Chris. It's a pleasure. Am I right in assuming that this is no easy task for any leader to, to, to pick up stakes? <laughs> They've been in California since 1957, for crying out loud, to sit there and say, okay, we're going to weigh the pros and cons, and we understand it's going to be disruptive to people's lives, but the, the, the company must survive. Uh, that does take leadership, yes? Yes, it does. And, and the thing about any leader, and I like what my dad used to say. He said, son, a leader has got to be a professional. And that means they do what's required and necessary, not what's most comfortable, habitual, or routine. Comfortable, habitual, routine would be to stay in L.A. They have roots there. Thousands of people aren't going to be relocating from that area when they move. It's, a, it's painful. It's difficult. And so when you make that kind of choice, you're either moving to something far more desirable far more compelling, or you're leaving something that's kind of painful or difficult or even toxic. And in the case of uh, L.A., uh, the, I guess the city of Torrance, California, versus uh, Plano, Texas, it's a combination of both. Now, let's, let's transition from the leadership decisions being made from the, the company to the leadership decisions being made in Sacramento out in California. It is no secret to this audience or to the country at large that that California is one of the extremist left-wing examples of government in our, in our country. And as they have adopted more of these left-wing policies, their economic fortunes have plummeted. And now they're seeing a mass exodus. I'll give you the stat, Dusty, and I'll let you respond. It is more expensive to rent a U-Haul coming from California to Texas than it is to rent a U-Haul going from Texas to California. Same distance, mind you, but demand is driving up the price to escape California. And what, what would you say about the leadership, or some would say lack thereof, in Sacramento, not only from the legislature there, but also from the governor, uh, Democrat Jerry Brown? Well, let me, let me give you one more statistic, and then I'll answer your question. In, uh, since 1990, L.A. has had a 3.1% decline in the employment base versus Detroit, as bad as Detroit is, bankrupt, which is 28 Now, I think you get that decline in employment base when you have legislative uh, agenda and actions that have wonderful sounding social ad- agendas attached to them, but are essentially hostile to small business and hostile to large business. And uh, the California attitude seems to be it's such a great state to be in that it's worth paying the price to be here. Well, Toyota and other organizations are beginning to make the decision as pretty as nice as California is, paying a top rate of 10.3% versus a 0% income tax much lower regulation, uh, a lower cost of living, that that starts to outweigh any advantage California might have. Of Torrance, uh, Frank Scott said uh, that basically the uh, California legislature lost Toyota due to tax structure and the high work, workers' comp and liability insurance. And I think that's another nail in the coffin. One left-wing state, New York, is, is trying this, th- this thing out, saying, hey, businesses, if you meet the criteria, you can relocate to New York. 
and go tax-free for 10 years, and then the implication is that after that, we're going to soak the hell out of you. <laughs> a lot of businesses, <laughs> what, what, what New Yorkers don't understand, the, the, and I'm talking about New York people that are in the, in the legislature, they don't understand is that these businesses make five- and ten-year projections out for their businesses. And a lot of them are saying, you know what, it's not, worth the go, it's not worth it to go through the expense to relocate to New York if we're just going to have to pull up stakes in ten years once you've got your claws into us. Uh, to make the move again once your onerous taxes and regulations kick in. And here's the thing, Chris. I think most people who uh, get, get into elected office go for the short term versus the long term, whereas really uh, savvy business leaders, the successful ones, they plan for the long term versus the short term. And so short term, I'm going to, uh, uh, to give you this uh, tax break, but long term, I'm going to soak you. No good business leader I know is going to buy that. This should be required reading for the, the state legislatures in, in left-wing states. Uh, the, the book is The Heart of Leadership, 12 Practices of Courageous Leaders. We're lacking that a lot in a lot of these left-wing environments. Dusty Staub is the author. He heads up Staub Leadership International. It's a management consulting firm. Always appreciate your time and expertise here on the Salcedo Show. Chris, it's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Dusty.